The date was August 8th, 2020, and Damian Lillard was getting ready to shoot two of the most important free throws of the season with his rival Patrick Beverly eagerly watching on the bench. But before we relive this moment, let's rewind a little bit. The rivalry between Patrick Beverly and Damian Lillard started in April of 2014 in the Rockets' first Trailblazers Round 1 playoff series. Beverly was arguing with the refs, as he normally does, but then he put a hand on Lillard and Lillard did not like that. Pat Bev and Lillard jotted each other all series long, but Lillard ended up having his way with Beverly in this series, averaging 25.5 points on 46.8% from the field and a blistering 48.9% from the three. And, oh yeah, he also hit one of the sickest shots in NBA history with this walk-off three. Pat Bev and Lillard have gotten into plenty of competitive scuffles since then, but let's fast forward to 2020 in the final regular season games of the bubble. Pat Bev and the Los Angeles Clippers were comfortably in the playoffs, while Lillard and the Trailblazers were in the ninth seed with only a few games left to make it into the playoffs. The Clippers and the Trailblazers met in the fourth to last game of the regular season. A matchup of Lillard vs Pat Bev is always fun because they are always chirping at each other, but Pat Bev was unfortunately injured for this matchup. However, this did not stop Lillard from continuing to jaw at Beverly, even yelling, I want you out here after draining a tough step back three. This game ended up coming down to the wire. The score was 118 to 117 Clippers, but the Trailblazers had the ball, and that means one thing and one thing only, game time. The Trailblazers gave the ball to Lillard in an ISO and he drives left and draws the foul. This is exactly what he wanted, he needs one to tie and two to go up. As he's getting ready to shoot the free throws, you can see Pat Bev still drawing at Lillard on the sideline. Lillard shoots the first free throw and it's way short. But this shouldn't be a problem, right? Dame Lillard would never miss two clutch free throws in a row, right? Yeah, about that. Lillard ended up missing the second free throw and Pat Bev had a field day. The Trailblazers ended up losing this pivotal game and Lillard stormed back to the locker room. In the post-game interviews, Lillard was not afraid to show his distaste towards Beverly. To me, that just shows what they expect from me down the stretch, you know. They know what I do. He saw it firsthand when I was the second year player when he was in Houston. So um, I'm sure he has a great memory of that, uh, which is, you know, why that drew that type of reaction from him when he saw me come up short at the end of the game. So um, to me, that's all that says. The beef certainly did not end there as it started to get a little personal. It started as your typical Instagram beef. Bleacher Report posted the video of Damian Lillard calling out Pat Bev, and Pat Bev commented on that post saying, Cancun on three. Paul George then responded by saying, and you getting sent home this year. Lillard lashed back by saying, keep switching teams, running from the grind, you boys is chumps. Of course, referring to how Paul George teamed up with Kawhi Leonard in Los Angeles. Paul George then fired back by saying, Respect that too in my first stint. With my first team, I had more success. Dame time running out, G. Players go back and forth like this on social media all the time, but what made this one special is that family started to get involved. Lillard's sister, Lene, took a shot at Pat Bev with this Instagram story video. So, just ugly ass, dusty, stanky breath ass. Okay, stand. Just like me. She then went at Paul George and his wife. I'm gonna get up under that pictures and start talking hella shit. Cause you can't talk. You got a whole stripper pregnant. Then you wife the bitch. Then look at her lips. Look at her face. Come on now, baby boy. Don't don't. Cause I'm getting personal with it. Paul George's wife, Daniela, did not find this funny. So she fired back at Lene on an Instagram story by calling her a cow. This is no longer just trash talk. This is getting personal. Back to basketball. Even though this beef was running wild, Lillard didn't let it get to his head. Actually, he took it personally. With only three games left in the regular season, he needed to win all three in order to get into the playoffs. Dame needed to step it up. The next game against the Philadelphia 76ers, Lillard used Pat Bev's laughs and comments as fuel, and he ended up dropping 51 points on 57% from the field. 
If 51 points isn't good enough for you, the next game, Lillard ended up dropping a career-high 61 points on the Mavericks on 53% from the field. Surely that's the end of his hot streak, right? Wrong. Next game, he drops 45 points on 59% from the field against the Nets in a nail-biting elimination game. After beating the Nets, Damian Lillard and the Trailblazers went on to beat the Grizzlies in the play-in tournament, and after beating them, Lillard's goal of making it into the 2020 playoffs was finally accomplished. After all of the laughing and the personal trash talk, Damian Lillard completed his goal. Pat Bev loves to jaw people and get into players' heads. That's just what he does. He literally got family members involved with beef just by laughing. He successfully got into Lillard's head by laughing at his free throws, but ultimately that ended up backfiring on him because Lillard took it personally. <laughs>